Hello everyone, Richard here, and today we're going to be looking at two similar specialties in Space Hulk Deathwing, specifically the Chaplain and Tactical Marine. To start off, lore-wise, Chaplains and Tactical Marines are very much different in role. Generally, Chaplains are considered to be the spiritual leaders amongst a chapter, while the Tactical Space Marine or Terminator would be considered a standard foot soldier, the backbone to any Space Marine or Terminator squad. Chaplains generally will have much more experience, be much more resilient, and have far more skill in ranged and melee combat, even when compared to a first company veteran. In game however, the Chaplain and Tactical Marine share very similar roles. Looking at the abilities, the first for the Tactical Marine allows the instant respawn of a single fallen squad mate, while the Chaplains can revive any and all fallen battle brothers with a shorter cooldown. Next, the second ability provides a damage resistance shield for one squad mate for 10 seconds. The Chaplains, on the other hand, provides the entire squad with invulnerability for 5 seconds, but can be increased to 10 with a perk. The third and final ability for the Tactical Marine is the summoning of a Servo Skull equipped with a single bolter, providing some additional fire support, but its effects appear to be minimal. The Chaplain, on the other hand, can grant damage reflection for the entire squad that lasts several seconds, and like his previous ability, can have its duration increased through a perk choice. Well, okay, maybe the Chaplain has a much more limited war gear selection to compensate for his more powerful abilities, but in actuality, he has much more options to choose from, with all the Tactical Marine's weapons available, plus the addition of the Crozius Arcanum, the Chaplain's special melee weapon. Unlike the Librarian or the Apothecary, the Chaplain doesn't suffer a longer cooldown if he selects a different melee weapon other than his specialized option, meaning he can select the arguably more powerful Power Fist without any other penalty other than the lack of the Tactician perk. Overall, the only major advantage for using the Tactical Marine over the Chaplain is the better Stormbolter, Mark II Stormbolter, and Power Fist with the Tactician perk. This can make him overall better at sniping tougher enemies or dealing with groups of enemies in close combat, but I don't think this is a worthwhile trade-off considering how much more flexible the Chaplain is. That in particular is very odd, largely due to the fact that the Tactical Marines are supposed to be the epitome of flexibility, and are beaten rather easily by a class that should be limited to buffing your squad in melee combat. In my opinion, for either specialty, I would avoid the Storm Bolter variants altogether and use either the Heavy Flamer or the Spear of Caliban, as both offer considerably more damage output at the cost of some sniping potential against hybrids. If I were to change the tactical specialty around, I would honestly make it benefit more from using the Storm Bolter variants and the Heavy Flamer, rather than have it be a worse version of the Chaplain. The Chaplain, on the other hand, should have a limited access to special weapons and perhaps a buff to his unique melee weapon and granting him his own unique storm bolter or plasma pistol. As it stands right now, chaplains and tactical marines are both extremely important in codex rule games, especially considering the 4 minute respawn timer. However, if I were to reinvest my renown, I would much rather have dumped it into the more useful chaplain. Thank you very much for watching, let me know what you thought of this video, I know it's a little different from my usual content, but I wanted to give it a shot. But anyways, until next time, happy hunting.